Every HDD project is unique, but they all start with the basics. Let's rewind this project and take a look at how the drill bit works. Drilling contractors depend on a variety of equipment and technology, but the point of progress is at the bit. There are many types and designs of bits, but roller cone or tricone bits are the most common. Internal bearings allow a roller cone bit to rotate freely. This relieves torque from the drill string as the driller applies forward pressure or weight to the formation. The harder the formation, the more weight required. That's how a roller cone bit works, not by digging or scraping, but by repeatedly applying pressure to hundreds of contact points per second. As the inserts, or teeth of a bit, rotate across the formation, the weight creates tiny cracks and fractures in the rock. The rock then breaks away into fragments called cuttings. But chipping away the rock is only part of the process. The cuttings must be removed from the hole for the bit to advance. That's where drilling fluid comes into play. In most cases, it's a simple mixture of water and an inert clay called bentonite. This mixture is continuously circulated through the drill string, to the bit, and back to the surface. It serves several purposes. The fluid helps lubricate the drill pipe and cool the bit, while the clay platelets create a seal along the wall of the hole, which helps maintain the hole structure. The clay also improves the water's suspension properties, allowing it to lift and transport the cuttings to the surface like a liquid conveyor belt. At the surface, the cuttings are separated and the clean fluid is recirculated into the hole. 